there's been a fair build-up starts. So like, how how are the girls going, and how are you going ahead of the, this, I suppose, historic occasion for footy and for Brisbane as well? Yeah, it's it been tr tremendous actually. Um, you know, that month before Christmas uh, to get a good base in was um, really valuable. Uh, really early start in the new year too, getting into it uh, January the 5th I think we started and um, you know a good three or four weeks now before the first round but it's all happened very quickly. Um, I must say playing a practice game on the 21st of January has happened too often in my yeah. time in footy but um, it was good to get that one out of the way and I think you know if the, if the players can bring that sort of um, level of intensity and, and energy to games of footy I think they'll um, at least give themselves a really good chance. What did you like? What did you like about what you saw at that practice game? Um, I just think the um, the work rate and the spirit amongst the group. I mean, we've got um, a whole lot of players that come from other club teams and uh, five from interstate as well. So the biggest challenge was to get everyone feeling like they were playing for the one footy club um, and only having one pre-season together. It wasn't a whole lot of time to, um, you know, uh, get that close, but they've certainly, you know, got together very quickly and play as a team and work hard together and, and care for each other. So all those sort of traits came out on that day, which was great. So if we can build on that, I think we've got a really solid foundation. What are your expectations you on... So you're what did you do to get that cohesion? Um, not much. <laughs> yeah, it's it's happened pretty organically, actually. Um, I think um, training together for that that period of time. I mean, club football. It's probably two nights a week if you're lucky, and pretty laid back and casual and recreational. Uh, we've had them in there, you know, four sessions a week, pretty constantly. Um, we've taken you know a couple of sessions uh, up the coast, down the coast, and done a few fun things as well. Um, but I think they're just really keen to, uh, you know, they've driven it really. The leaders in the group have driven the, the cohesion and getting people together. So, yeah, not much that we've had to do outside of that. What are your expectations on Sunday, starts from an on-field perspective? Oh, look, just to bring that competitive spirit to the game, that's first and foremost. That gives you a chance to stay in the game. Um, we're you know, really hoping that, uh, we think we've got a fit team. It's been a really hot summer in Brisbane as well, so we've trained through some uh, pretty tough conditions, but we think that's actually helped us. Um, so if we bring that sort of intensity and, and back ourselves fitness-wise, I think we can compete for you know, the duration of the game. Have you bothered trying to do too much or any homework on your opposition or is that just too difficult? There's yeah, not much to go off at the yeah, moment. Yeah, it's, it's a tough one. Yeah, I've, I've probably been lucky um, to coach in the exhibition series a couple of years ago, so I've got a bit of a handle on who the key players are. But um, once I get past player number 10, 12, I'm starting to, you know, turn on others for a bit of advice. But um, yeah, it's 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 been difficult. I reckon it's a really unique round too, where I reckon every club in the comps a little bit the same, uh, apart from uh, well, the Melbourne clubs, play, Carlton and Collingwood play each other I guess so they'll know each other a little bit more closely being uh, mainly Victorian but everyone else plays across previous state boundaries so um, you know our knowledge of each other is pretty limited. Such a short season, can you play your best footy straight away or is that too much to ask for? Um, I think we can hit the ground running definitely yeah we can we can certainly get in there and play pretty, some pretty good footy from the outset. Um, I've just noticed in the last couple of weeks with some of our you know, structure training in particular, the difference between even last night practicing our kick-ins and zones and stuff like that, like two or three weeks ago we were pretty shabby in that area and I think last night we just saw some real real gains there so um, I, you know, and fitness wise and, and the shape of our athletes too is changing all the time so I think we've made huge inroads from, uh, from where the players came from say pre-Christmas and even in the three weeks after. Has anything surprised you about this bunch? Anything you didn't expect that about our players, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I think they're, um, it's probably no surprise, but their toughness to stick at it and keep, keep working hard has been terrific. Um, I actually didn't think the spirit amongst the team, given that they've come from so many um, different clubs, was going to gel that quickly. So that's probably surprised me the most, that they've, they've come together as quickly as they have. So, um, you know, nothing like a, a little bit of success in your first practice game to, you know, give that a bit of a kickstart along as well. So, you know, I think that, that you know, they're, they're pretty solid, uh, which is a really, you know, nice feeling coming into the first game. If you, uh, if you were to market this game to yeah. people, try to get fans along, what would you say? Um, I think to this to this game in particular, you're seeing something that's history making. Um, I know, you know, when we were kids growing up, being a boy, no one ever said you can't do anything. Um, some of these girls had come through junior football and got to a certain age, and they were told, "No, nah, that's it. 
best you go and try something else. Um, so it's you know I, I don't really don't have a feel for how they feel coming into this game and and all the you know all the bits and pieces they've been through to get to this point. Uh, so I reckon it's probably going to be pretty emotional for them and their families. Um, so I think you're going to see history. You're going to see a lot of a lot of players that have thought this day would never come. So that they'll be cherishing uh, the moment and hopefully from a coaching point of view, as I said before, we just hope to see that uh, really hard competitive drive and spirit amongst the group that we compete to the end.